Horses are on the track for the sixth race of the day at the Illinois State Fair. Win, play, show, exact a trifecta wagering on this top line stake for horses and geldings, pacers, age three and older. Let's meet the starters for the sixth race. Number one is Zagnut, owned by Omar Blankenship of Marshall, trained and driven by Randall Finn. Number two, the Smart Indy is scratched. Number three, Fast Track Bid, owned by Tom Throgmorton of Carbondale, trained by Joe Hott. Tom Tietrick scheduled to drive. Number four, Financial Peace, owned by John Davis of Starkville, Mississippi, trained by John David Finn, and it's going to be John David Finn on the bike. By the way, that is Tim Tietrick on number three. Tim Tietrick on number three. Number five, George W., owned by Stacy Ruddick of Seymour, Indiana. She's the trainer. Brandon Simpson is the driver. Six is Keeley Bell, owned by Gene Melville of DeCoin, trained and driven by Ray Gash. Seven, Mighty Fubar, owned by Rob Anderson and Rebecca Johnson of Bennett, Colorado, trained and driven by Rob Anderson. And eight, Bold Egyptian, owned by Eloise Ellis and Florence Appleby of Silvis, Illinois, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Again, it is Tim Tietrick on number three. Wow, that change has been a bugaboo all day long, hasn't it? Six. Eighth of a mile from the start. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Mighty Fubar goes out for the lead along with Financial Peace. And now Financial Peace moves on by. Zagnut wakes up toward the inside to challenge. Fast track bid in between those two. Now Tim Tietrich has fast track bid going for the lead outside of Zagnut. And fast track bid makes the top clear by just over a length. Zagnut second. Financial Peace is third. George W. fourth. And then Keeley Bell is racing in fifth. Bold Egyptian sixth. Mighty Fubar is last as they move by the quarter in 27 and 4 fifths seconds. Fast track bid on top. Zagnut is right behind him for the move up the back stretch. They're going single file among the top five. In fact, all seven. Financial Peace is third. George W. is racing fourth, followed by Keeley Bell, then Bold Egyptian. Mighty Fubar is at the back as the field approaches the half-mile mark. They're being led by fast track bid. On top by a length, no challengers yet. George W. moving from fourth. Now he's third. Now he's second, just outside of Zach Nutt. Keeley Bell is also on the move in the outer flow of traffic as well. They got the half in 59 seconds flat. They're racing toward the far turn. Back up front, George W. gets the lead three parts of a length. Fast track bid is second. Keeley Bell third outside of Zagnut. Then Bold Egyptian is racing in fourth and moves up on the outside around Financial Peace. Mighty Fubar is last as they approach the three-quarter mile mark. Field being led by George W. by a length. Keeley Bell is second on the outside, keeping fast track bid locked in. Bold Egyptian looms a threat in fourth, but will have to go three wide. Financial Peace, then Zag Nutt and Mighty Fubar. Three quarters and 128 and one. Pacers four wide, racing by the eighth pole. They're being led by George W. He's given them a three length slip now. It's fast track bid second, Bold Egyptian third, Financial Peace and Keeley Bell. George W. is going to win this top line stake. He wins it by four. Close for second, either bold Egyptian or fast track bid for place. Time for the mile, one minute, 55 and three-fifths seconds. The winner circle for race six, owned and trained by Stacy Ruddick of Seymour, Indiana, who's standing at the head of this horse, driven by Brandon Simpson of Sherman, George W. Brandon's father, Dirk Simpson, just walked by and congratulated him. There's his uncle, Clay. In fact, a lot of members of the Simpson family. There's Grandpa, Buddy, patting him on the shoulder, saying congratulations. Brandon was a multi-sport athlete at Williamsville High School, where he played soccer and also basketball, and now a successful young harness driver as he brings George W. home for his eighth win of the year, 155-3, and three, a third-generation horseman, Brandon Simpson.